right. I wonder you know? if his finger got tired. Oh, yeah. Or his arm <laughs> holding yeah. those up. That's true. Props to him, I guess. Let's go ahead and get started with a look at that Doppler radar. A few high clouds on top of the state, but other than that, a lot of sunshine out there. You can see those temperatures show at 58 degrees already here in the metro area. Even those low 50s out in Farmington, 60s across the eastern plains, and even right now, Hobbs 72, Carlsbad, even better. 76 degrees for the end of January. Not too bad. The winds definitely kicking up out across the eastern plains. Sustained winds are over 20 miles per hour here in Clovis. These winds will continue to kick out across the eastern plains, and really, that's all we got to work with today. The sunshine will continue for the rest of us. We're watching a cold front looking to move in late tonight and really overnight into tomorrow. This will slowly start to push its way across the state. By the time we hit tomorrow afternoon, we'll certainly start to see those clouds build in. So the sunshine we have right now, that will not be there this time tomorrow. As far as the rain and the snow goes, it's looking like that will be late in the night, and then it really starts to pick up by the time we hit Friday. Now, as far as the metro area goes, personally, I'm thinking it's going to be a little bit more rain than the snow. I think the snow will be confined to the northern mountains in the eastern plains, to the southwest and into central New Mexico. That's where we can expect the rain. So as far as the event goes, it's going to start late tomorrow, continue Friday, Saturday, and might even linger into Sunday morning. Here's the setup. Here's that cold front I'm talking about that's moving in tonight. It will allow some moisture and certainly the cooler temperatures to fill in behind it. We also have help from a storm system sitting to our southwest. Now that will also aid in putting some moisture on top of us, that Pacific moisture that we need to get these showers going. But the weird thing is this really isn't going to make a direct impact. So the moisture's there. That's not the problem. And I'm not seeing any big red flags besides those east winds that we'll continue to watch. But the weird setup, the weird thing about this setup is this storm will actually lift up and then kind of drift down to the southeast by the time we hit the later end of this weekend. So a direct impact with the center of the storm? No, but we just got to get that moisture. And I'm thinking we have a pretty good shot of seeing the rain go up here in the metro area and across the southwest. Again, snow and significant snow likely over the northern mountains. So you'll notice that when we go through these seven-day forecasts today, nothing to worry about, but starting to see some changes on Thursday and then some rain snow mixing them uh, in the forecast by Friday really into Saturday. No Southern Colorado, your temperatures in the 40s today and tomorrow. We're down to the low 40s and upper 30s for the later end of the weekend. Northwest Plateau comfy today. We'll watch for some rain snow mix beginning Friday into Saturday. Temperatures down to the low to mid 40s by Friday and Saturday. Southwest very warm today, mid to upper 60s, 50s tomorrow, 40s by Friday. We'll watch for the rain mix. Southeast, again, it's comfy today in those 70s, but cold front's going to knock us down to the 50s tomorrow, 30s by Friday. Northeast, plenty of wind out there as well as the sunshine. Temperatures in the mid to upper 50s. We'll watch for rain snow mix Friday. Northern mountains playing on some good mountain snow kicking in Friday and Saturday. East mountains as well. We'll watch for snow by the end of the weekend, so enjoy the sunshine and the warmer temperatures you have today. In the metro area, we are looking at another comfortable afternoon above the average in the low 60s. Seven-day forecast, though, yeah, it's looking pretty soggy here Friday and Saturday. We're going to keep you updated once we get a little bit closer to the end of this week. Okay, sounds good. Thank yeah. you. From zero to 60 in three 